welcome to our Glassbreaker show match. We have Barton Slade, our lead champion designer, playing against Cass from Cass and Cherry. Hoping to put on a great show match for you. So it looks like Barton is running with Vendrix, Naji, and Reese, and Cass running with Gwen, Brell, and Barnard. So they both have a good mix of AoE and direct damage, but the advantage for Cass is going to be in ranged. And now at the start, Glass Breakers, we get to meet our opponent and start planning out our, our strategies. And it looks like they're both going to be moving towards the attack here. These capture points you'll see on the board are going to be how their champions can gain power-ups. Our power-ups are called gear. Um, and these gear each do different things, very similar to items that you purchase in other MOBA-style games. Right there, Barton decided to put a health gear on Reese, his healer. A healer being a little more tanky is always a good thing. Naji bullying Brel away. Brel great from long range, but not so much up close. And now Barton immediately moving towards the other objective on the board, which is the Sway Stone. Sway Stone, really powerful in Glass Breakers. It will give you the ability to deal additional damage to your opponent's uh, glass. And the Defender Glass and Core Glass are your, your ways of winning the game. Destroying those, win the game. Looks like we got a bit of a fight right now. And the healer, Reese, in, in the middle of everything. I don't know if that's where he wants to be. You can see Vendrix firing off his torrent of flame right now. Giant flame tornado pushing everybody back. Except for Gwendolyn. She, oh, and there's Najee's strike. Najee able to cast down the Northern Lights and execute anybody at low health. Tanks really need to be careful of Najee's strike, but it looks like he went down the double range, taking him down. That's Waystone, still in play, really low, just a battle over it. Nobody wanting to, to fight it directly to get it low and have a steal. It looks like Gwen says, I don't need it, I'm going right in. Cass getting aggressive and pushed away immediately. The Defender Glass does just that, defends, shooting out as you come in, so definitely bring the whole squad or have a plan uh, when you go to attack. Looks like Vendrix pushing everybody back. It's Naji. Naji participating in the fight. That Swaystone still just begging for somebody to capture it. Reese is back at the home base getting, getting some health. Looks like he recently healed himself. As the game goes on, Champion's abilities do change over the course of the match. Reese has just a direct heal, but as you see, all of their health bars have the number two on it. He gains the ability to have a heal over time additional after the heal. And it looks like Barton was able to take the Sway Stone, but just capturing the Sway Stone isn't enough. You need to do something with it. So for the next 60 some odd seconds, Barton will have additional damage done to the Defender Glass, but he has to go hit it first. And with an all melee team, well, I guess Reese has got a little bit of range, but primarily melee team, he's gonna have to work his way in. And looks like we have a fight breaking out right now. Naji in the middle of that fight, trying, gets off one Naji strike, but it, oh, Reese's heal is huge. That's a stain coming in. And Naji's gonna be able to walk out. And looks like Vendrix coming in, used the Torrent of Flame a little bit early, so it wore off right as he got to the Defender Glass. But that's okay, you can see the power of the Sway Stone that Defender Glass just starting to melt. And now Cass thinking about a counter push as Barton needs to return back to heal his characters. With glass breakers, you you get a bit of an ebb and flow as the the game goes on of poke counter poke, you know, finding opportunities. We see Barton already taking Reese to go start harassing the Sway Stone, 
parlay another one as Cass says, I'm not worried about you taking that right now, and I'm going to put some pressure on one of your defender glass. It's really important in glass breakers to assess the board, look at your opponent. They're in the world with you, see where they are, see where their hands are moving, and decide, do you want to go deal with it, or do you want to go cause some problems of your own? And Barton looking to cause some big problems right here, says, I don't need anything, this is low, I'm just going to pop some abilities, and our first defender glass has fallen. So, with Barton destroying the first defense glass, there looks to be about four minutes left in the match. In Glassbreakers, uh, matches last nine minutes unless the core glass goes down. And if the core glass doesn't go down at the end of nine minutes, whoever has more defender glass wins. That's right. In the event of defender glass being tied, we'll go to a two minute sudden death overtime. But if all things stay the same right now, looks like Barton's gonna close this one out. Cass trying to work on that sway stone a little bit there, but getting chased off. Knowing that that's her way back into the game. We gotta see if Cass can win win a fight here in the center over the control point, and then maybe parlay that into the sway stone and make something happen. Three on one might be a little tough. Gwen's tanky, but 3v1 with a Najee. Yeah, Najee looking for Najee's strike. Here it comes. Oh, a little early. The champions do need to be below a certain percentage of health for Najee's strike to get the, the execution ability there. Only a little bit of damage. That Sway Stone does look like it's going to go back into the hands of Barton. Going to make things really hard for Cass right now. Because now she needs to hold off this defense. Losing another defense glass right now might be game over. So she's coming in. I don't know... We're tanking with our mage. Maybe not the best, but... Oh, Barnard does get out. He's going to return to heal, and we are still getting some damage on this defender glass. So making something happen, even without the sway stone, that's, that's great to see. Just because the other team's on a power play doesn't mean you can't score. Barton, knowing that he's in the lead right now, not needing to force anything, just deciding to get another scroll or gear from the capture point. The yellow gear makes the champion's abilities come back faster, and casting abilities is always fun. Cash pushing in again. I think she feels like she's the one that has the sway stone. Uh, looks like Brel's getting chased down. Yeah, Brel got executed by Naji Strike. But that defender glass, I think it's gonna go down. Oh no, she got pushed off. I think she could have gotten it. Oh. Barnard says, I'm going down, but not before I take the Defender Glass. And we're tied up 1-1. One, one. Way to get that ability off before going down. And now it's just up to Gwen. Gwen trying to hold off everybody. It does look like the Sway Stone's worn off, so... Was able to hold off, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Vendrix able to have the Torn of Flame hitting both Gwen and the Defender Glass at the same time. As the match continues on, respawns on champions takes longer and longer, so losing somebody later in the game makes it really hard to defend after they've been defeated. I was like, the Sway Stone is just not going to be a factor anymore. We're just going to go back and forth slugging out these defense glasses. Barton only needs a hit or so on that defense glass to go up 2-1, to one, so... Cass is going to really need to... It looks like Vendrix is just going in. Says, I don't care. I just want to get it. Get the score. We've got to be... We're 39 seconds left, and Barton goes up 2-1. to one. Cass needs to do something here. Winning this fight would be huge. Is she able to get Reese? It does look like Reese is down. Cass pushing in. It's a 3-on-2. Short time now. Oh, and I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to overtime. That's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, but a huge execute by Najee. That's going to be tough. Sway Stone's open. We've got a chase situation here. Barnard, you got to run. No. Najee strike. Once he hits tier 3 of Najee strike, getting, getting the hit on it resets the ability so he gets to cast it right again. Oh, and Najee and Vendrix both... Sitting on top of the core glass. We are in overtime right now, but with only one left. Uh, next to fall wins them all. Najee on top. Oh, he gets pushed away. 
Oh, he's going back. Naji says, no, wait a minute. I can do this. I was foolish. Gwen respawning, causing the pushback. Oh, no. Reese, don't do it, bud. Reese says, maybe I should play defense. But here comes Gwen. Cass says, wait, I can push in, too. I protect my own. But with just Gwen, does she have... Does she have anybody else spawn? I think we need more help. Here comes the rest. The rest of the squad coming in. Barnard, big AoE causing some damage. This could be the push. Barton's champions respawning here. Oh, Gwen focused on Reese instead of the core glass. Retreating to heal, saying maybe I'm not going to get it this time. We're going to have to win one more fight. Barnard says, wait, we're supposed to win this fight. Brill coming in, but the tank left. Oh, huge. Oh, no. Not going to be enough. Gwen, you left your team. You had one job. You were supposed to be the tank, and you went home. I think that's going to do it. Torn of Flame just piling in. Everybody in. And Barton takes it over Cass in a great match. I'm so proud. Only 23 seconds left in overtime. What a game. Now here we see the, the victory screen. Barton winning 3-2. He's doing his little dance. And thank you for joining us for our Glassbreaker show match. I hope you enjoyed.